The landscape in Ventura County is diverse. To its east are the Santa Monica Mountains, and to its west is the Pacific Ocean. The county is also marked by one distinct feature, agriculture. You can see orchards, you can see strawberries, you can see cilantro, celery, the list goes on. In fact, Ventura is one of the most productive agricultural counties in California, employing nearly 50,000 workers. These workers are at the heart of Ventura County, they are the backbone of the economy and essential to the food system. After emerging from multiple disasters, the county has focused on its farm worker community as a part of a broader effort to become more resilient. Many of these workers will find themselves harvesting the county's most valuable crop, strawberries. Mi primer trabajo aquí en el área fue piscando fresa. Mi mayor experiencia en la agricultura siempre ha sido fresa. Ángel Mendez works at Crisolita Farms in Oxnard, both the biggest city and agricultural hub of Ventura County. Like many, he has come from Mexico and found work here in Ventura. Yo soy de, de Tlazazalca, Michoacán. Es un pueblo muy antiguo y tiene un clima muy parecido al de aquí. Me gusta aquí esta área por el clima. Me siento a gusto aquí. <laughs> In late 2017, the Thomas fire struck the region. At the time, it was the largest wildfire in California's modern history, burning 281,000 acres. It was a huge hit to our community and started out very small, of course, but it moved faster than any fire had before. It moved faster, spread faster, and uh, it caused a lot of devastation. The devastation stretched across the county's diverse set of communities, impacting everyone, including farm workers, who often bear the brunt of these types of climate emergencies. One of the challenges that the county had during the fires was the ability to engage with the community during those emergencies. There were lots of things that were unknown to us. During their response, county officials quickly came to a realization. How could they respond to a catastrophic climate event if they didn't have adequate and up-to-date information about everyone who was being impacted? Yo vivo cerca de donde pasó el fuego de Thomas Fire. Ángel lives with his family in Santa Paula, where the Thomas Fire ignited in December of 2017. Personas perdieron sus casas, y aquí en el trabajo realmente pues nos afecta el humo. El humo es difícil porque pues tiene partículas que afectan nuestras vías respiratorias y algunas personas somos más sensibles al ambiente contaminado. Not only is their health directly affected, but so is their livelihood. La otra parte que también uh, afecta es donde vuela y cae toda la ceniza, afecta que le caiga a la planta y a la fruta. Cuando pasa esto, perdemos horas de trabajo. The Thomas Fire prompted a moment of reflection for the county administration. They didn't know enough about these communities to optimize response and support in the face of a disaster, and they recognized that as a major problem. You have to approach it from a standpoint of humility and empathy that there's things happening that we're not aware of. So you're always trying to make sure you have everybody around the table, everybody who's being impacted and everybody who can help deal with that. Recognizing that as much as you've done that, there's probably still some other group that you're missing. So the county adapted. They launched the Farm Worker Resource Program in 2019 as a test case for a comprehensive approach, one that prioritizes communication, information, relationship building, and partnering with community organizations to help disseminate services to those who need them the most. This required legwork. The first step was building trust, which is not always a simple task for a government agency. The language barrier was a challenge. 
It's always been a challenge. Just because a lot of us either are from Mexico or speak Spanish doesn't mean we understand the culture, the dynamics of the different indigenous language, the variants of the indigenous language. Language barriers are not the only challenge. Many workers are undocumented. This means they may face obstacles accessing services such as healthcare, and many simply fear being deported. There is lots of hesitation. That's why it took a lot for us to say we're part of the county, we're a non-threatening organization. Despite ongoing challenges, another disaster would surely happen. It was not a matter of if, but when. Like in every corner of society, the COVID-19 pandemic was a major disruption for the agricultural industry. It's also a test case for the county to take lessons learned from the Thomas fire and apply them to a new emergency, one where quality data and communications were paramount. We have a fairly new program, the Farm Worker Resource Program, and we really have to get not only information out to the farm worker community, but also essential things that they needed. During shutdown, they still had to go to work. They didn't have the luxury of teleworking or staying at home. Matt Conroy is a lifelong agricultural worker and grower. He owns the Crisalita Strawberry Farm where Angel works. The biggest issue that we ran into was the, the lack of good information. The county was hugely instrumental in passing out good information, in connecting with doctors that could come out to the ranches and give good information to the crews. The county was able to mobilize quickly by building on grassroots relationships developed through the Farm Worker Resource Program, which expanded, adding trilingual staff who speak indigenous languages. The county was also able to launch mobile vaccination sites at ranches across the county. Compañía se preocupó por el grupo nosotros de trabajo y ellos consiguieron con el condado que nos trajeran la vacuna hasta aquí hasta el rancho. Eso fuimos de los primeros grupos que alcanzaron la vacuna. County officials consider the COVID response a launch pad for what's next how to be inclusive and integrated with the communities they serve, how to reflect and learn, and ultimately become more flexible moving forward. When the pandemic hit, because we've been through more than our fair share of disasters here in Ventura County, like the Thomas Fire, we really built on the lessons learned from the Thomas Fire to better position ourselves to respond to the pandemic. The county knows that when it comes to its farm workers, communication needs to happen in a way that is culturally competent and responsive to the community's pressing needs. We have created WhatsApp groups in different indigenous languages, in Mixteco and Zapoteco. We also have it in Spanish. We have one for community-based organizations where we send messages in real time so that the community understands what we're doing. Ventura County is continuing to learn and prepare for the future. As one next step, the county will be conducting a community needs assessment that will help embed this capacity in a more permanent way. In the coming months, a series of community workshops will help inform future engagement methods, support an integrated and data-driven approach, strengthen partnerships with community organizations, and identify remaining gaps that can be addressed in the future. It is our duty to build on this, to build on these connections, raising people up, improving education, improving opportunity for everyone in our community, making sure we don't leave anyone behind uh, in our community as we, as we make Ventura County an even stronger, more resilient community than we were before the pandemic.